So it's really a great fortune to, to be able to be introduced to a reality that is the real reality of life. And really to come to see that all the ways we have been treating ourselves with all our thoughts, emotions, our ideas about reality, relationships, things, places, all of this that we in this training simply call data because that's all there is. It's just information, streaming, physical, mental, emotional, just information. But there is so many ways to deal with this information and, and for sure when I I met this training the way I had dealt with this information, this data up until that time was either to make a big drama out of it, like completely indulging in it, or avoiding information I didn't like, people I didn't like, places I didn't like, you know, just avoiding it, or not allowing everything to be as it is, just simply replacing. Like, oh, I don't f like to be angry, so I replace it with happiness. Or So that's a struggle, and that's really an artificial life. But I, I didn't know that there was another way to be with all of this, that at times can be very overwhelming. So in this training, you are introduced to a, a fourth way and the only way to really see that you are stable at all times, no matter what is happening in your life and in your circumstances in life. And that is simply to let it be as it is, to let that information just flow. And you test it in short moments. So we give you one single instruction in this training. So that's it, this one instruction. So for short moments, you just relax body and mind and you just see that there is something there that is just clear, available and don't need to describe anything. It's just you as this open intelligence, you as this basic pure per perception that just sees everything as it is. Just like a mirror quality. You know, the mirror doesn't try to replace an unhappy face with a happy face. Have you seen a mirror ever do that? <laughs> you know, it's such a, a very powerful metaphor because you can see the mirror has that quality to just reflect reality as it is. It doesn't change anything. So that is who we are also. Our most fundamental nature is that we just have this open, clear perception as this mirror. And we are in these short moments when we test it, able just to reflect and let everything that we feel, that we think, that we see, that we hear, everything, just to be as it is. And it's such a relief. That's when we see how, how much effort it is to try to change our circumstances and change all that is going on. So we say short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it's obvious. So that's the instruction. So basically if there's one thing to remember, if this is your first meeting or it's your meeting number 1000, <laughs> doesn't matter. If it's one thing to remember from this meeting is to just test this again and again for the rest of the day. Because it's so easy to forget it. So the question about 100% commitment in my life is to do that. And if I see I cannot do that with my thoughts and emotions and my ideas, I still go on the old habits of indulging, replacing, avoiding, you know, describing, putting all of my things, all my world onto others. Have you ever done that? Oh, I feel this, that and the other and these long descriptions. There's no responsibility in that. It's just that idea that if I share this world <laughs> I have with someone else, there is a relief. That's the idea we have. But it, there isn't any lasting relief in that. It might feel like a relief in those minutes, but that's nothing to hold on to. So to recognize this is so powerful. It completely shifts the perception for sure. You know, so the 100% commitment to test short moments and 
truly not only thinking about letting everything be as it is, but just actually do that. And I remember in the beginning, <laughs> there was this, you know, introduction. I knew that, oh, this, that sounds nice, actually. I can just let this be as it is. But there were, it was a period where I was just thinking about that <laughs> until it, the penny really dropped. Like, okay, I need to do that with what's coming up in me, as me, of me, through me. It's, it's with, with my perceptions. That's where all the power is. So it doesn't matter if I listen and listen and listen to others, if I don't apply this directly and practically to my life. And that is balanced view. Balanced view gives that support to actually take it from a mental understanding to really see that this is who you are instinctively. You are born to just let everything flow naturally, freely, through you, as you. You are simply born to, to be able to do that. That needs no effort. It's just very natural. It's so natural that we, we somehow just forgot it. I mean, I can only speak for myself and you check in your own life, you know, but I totally forgot that that was safe. You know, to let everything be as it is, that that is truly safe. That's why the short moments are brilliant, because you test that it is safe. So when we have these afflictions, which is normally where, you know, everything goes off. We want to run away from it, because first of all, we have learned our whole life from society, from everywhere, that to feel this pain, emotional, physical, mental pain is wrong. Something is wrong with me. And it goes off, you know, all these reactions. So, so I, for sure, I'm so happy that I have been able to be supported through Balanced View and the education we offer here, which is called the, the Four Mainstays. And, and you know, when, when all this goes off and I want to run away or I want to antidote these afflictions away, I want to do something because it's not safe here. It has been crucial to be supported, to test that it's safe here, to let it be as it is. So to extract the power from afflictions, this will be my direct experience of this because uh, for sure I love my afflictions. And, you know, I could never say that before, you know, five years ago. <laughs> I hated everything about my afflictions and my whole life altogether. <laughs> so the way I can say it is that the wisdom of life, you know, is in every perception. And for sure in the afflictions, which I, which I always tried to avoid to feel, I missed out so much wisdom of life. You know, so this is the extraction of this pure wisdom of what is possible for any human being to feel, to be, without needing to change it and reject it. So we are opening up this for everyone. To, to, whenever you feel that affliction, you know that other people have gone before you and seen that it's been safe, even if you think you will die. Because the mind just makes up so many crazy thoughts all the time. Am I the only one that have a mind like that? Oh wow, I'm alone. <laughs> oh, you're too shy, but for sure. I have seen the reality of my mind. It's completely unpredictable. It's completely unpredictable. To the degree that it's just fun now. Because I don't need to rely on it. So it's just to go back to that simple instruction again and again and, and just to get to know oneself that really it is safe here and, and the way that we extract that power is that when we have seen it in our life, we radiate this everywhere, beyond words. You know, have you ever met a person that is just so stable within him or herself? so comfortable in her own skin, his own skin, like all of you. No words are needed. You just sense that, you feel that. It's so beautiful. 
So, so I know I can meet anyone in any, any kind of affliction and I wouldn't be afraid because I've seen that I'm not afraid of my afflictions, any of my data anymore. And that is the truest, biggest gift you can ever experience as a human being. Wow! Just imagining this right now, even if you have data you are still afraid of, just imagining step by step, day by day, one moment at a time. You are afraid of less and less data. Like more and more, all is so well, all is so fine, and life is as it is, from moment to moment. And that is when we see that all your expressions, all your data, are just pure dynamic energy of, of you expressing yourself naturally as open intelligence, as this fundamental instinctive state of who you are as a human being. All of this is just, when you don't go in there and do anything, it is just allowed to unfold completely naturally. And that is your birthright to give yourself that permission. That's when you are an empowered human being that no longer need to use your beautiful life energy, your creativity, your talents to micromanage all of this data. You don't need to use your time on that anymore. You don't need to notice it even. Because you're so fine as you are. You know, and then, then that relief is, is just pure benefit, that relief. And you want to share that with the whole world. So, so the, for sure the, the, the reality I see now is just that I see, there's nothing I see as wrong or as anything that can stop me or anyone. So if anyone says that this and this is stopping them, I can hear the words, but I don't see that as a problem. <laughs> I just see this data as, as opportunities but not as a nice life philosophy on a mental level, because I had many of the, those written down in nice books, you know, all these nice words and sayings about life. But I feel that now, I sense it. So I would say that is my biggest, biggest shift of reality in every moment. And it doesn't stop with me, it's with everyone. And, uh, you know, when you really come to see that all of what you experience is completely inseparable from open intelligence, it's completely inseparable from anything, everything is just equal. It's like you can say the wind and the air. How could you ever separate the wind out of the air? It's one of the same. It's just the air expressing itself. And that's all your thoughts and emotions, just expressing yourself as you are. When you take short moments while you're just experiencing what you are experiencing. And in this training you will gain more and more trust to just do that. So we say we have the four mainstays and the first mainstay is this simple single instruction. And the three other mainstays are there available for you to support you to really remember this instruction more and more and more spontaneous. So the three other mainstays are that everyone in Balanced View have their personal trainer, a friend that have climbed that mountain before you, that have met all of this data and can just assure you again and again that it is safe here. It's safe here as well. You're not limited by that, you know, a hand to hold in when you just go into all these ideas. Yeah, that's crucial. And then we have all the training media, we have books, we have so many talks on the website, you know, you can just create your own study plan and repeat the training again and again in your own personal uh, settings in your life. And then we have the community and it's obvious that we learn from each other, we are inspired from each other as we have been inspired the whole life to think that certain emotions, certain thoughts are wrong to have. You know, in the same way we learn that from others, from society, we are now learning, relearning what we always have known from each other. And we are inspired by each other's examples for sure. It's so beautiful to see that and 
you know, I'm so touched by every human being in general. And when I see anyone raising up to that potential as a human being to just see that nothing of this stuff, this data, has ever posed any threat in your life. That was just an idea, air, <laughs> just a mental idea. So that's so touching to, to just know that we have a community, a global community, local communities in many, many countries.